this is code.org. Let's see what we're working on. The plus operator can be used to join or concatenate, which is smushed together, two strings or a number and a string. Keep in mind a string is a word. So like water and glass. If I put a plus between them, boom, they're mashed together. Ooh, or like sunrise is equal to this. Forever would be equal to this. So, hmm, interesting. Ever, I believe, should be in quotes unless ever is a variable equal to ever. Anyways, to new line character, we'll make the string across multiple lines. Yes. So that will split strings in half. If I put plus in slash in in quotes here, then plus rise, they would be on a different line. Sun, new line, rise. Run the program to see what it works what it does. Okay. Oh, let me speed it up. This is one string that prints on multiple lines. Yep. And that's because of this slash in right here. And then again, and then again. Okay. Hi there. I'm 16 years old. Oh, and this is info. Yep. Info we've seen it's changed a little bit. Cool. Do this, right? Yep. Write code to answer the last question. Use string concatenation to make your response print on a single line. How many months have you been alive? Okay. Oh, two questions. Got it. How many days have you been alive? Use slash n to add a space to your output. Write code to answer the last two questions. Use string concatenation to make your response print on a single line. So I don't know why I would use slash in then. All right. How many days? So console.log. How many days? Well, that would be my age. So I have to go up here again. I should go ahead, though, and put a uh, semicolon here. I'm going to go up here and change this to my actual age so it makes sense. Because you need to change the variable for this to represent you. I'm an old man, so I changed it to 32. Now, way back down here, I can go console log age plus, and age is that variable I just made. Oh, no, age times 365. And that's not times. This is times. So age times 365. Okay, and then... Oh, I like that they say 365. If I want to add a line to this at the end of the question, yeah, like they do here, console log, whatever, I should put a slash in and that will add a new line character. So I'm going to do that forward slash and then in. Okay. Add code here. There are 12 months in a year. So how many months? So console log and I'm going to write the age variable age times 12 since there's 12 months in a year and a semicolon. Now, right now, this would all appear on the same line. Okay, but I want to make sure it goes onto the new line. So I'm going to use a new line character and do slash in. All right, let's give this a shot. Ugh, how many days have you been alive? Way too many. How, how many months have you been alive? That many. So you can see now what this new line character is doing. It is pushing down one line. Boop. And so there we are, right? We get to be one line below with our information, just like they have here. Cool. We're getting more and more complicated. Let's keep going.